everyone so the next topic which we will be discussing is about the artificial intelligence so what do you understand by the term artificial artificial means which is man made which is being done by the humans and selection so artificial selection is basically a form of selection in which the humans the humans they actively choose which traits should be passed on to the offspring so this process is been decided by the human so it is a selection selection which is being caused by the human so selection caused by humans so it is a deliberate and a planned process it leads to deliberate genetic change there is a genetic constitution of the population which changes rapidly and this is an ongoing process which will obtain the higher yields superior nutrient con concurrent and resistant to disease so this is what the artificial intelligence is so there are some species also which which are been artificially created so let's discuss that also so introduction there is a selective breeding it is about the definition of this artificial intelligence itself so it is a selective breeding of the organisms to produce the domesticated animals with more desirable traits so selective breeding to test for the genetic variation and for variation in a population so this is what is the selective breeding or the artificial intelligence now for about 10000 years the plants and the animals they are been artificially selected so what is happening in the process of artificial selection so in the process of artificial selections the humans they select the organism with some of the useful traits so they select the particular species which have a more trait for example if i take a example of a plant that if a plant is having a higher yield then that higher yield trait will be transferred to another plant that 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 is having the lower yield so the humans they select these organisms or the plant species very carefully and with the useful traits so the humans they allow those useful characteristics to breed and they prevent the ones without the characteristic from the breeding the humans they have a significant effect upon the evolution of these population and species as well so there is a process of evolution there is a process of natural selection which is also involved next they are, there are some for some of the examples of the plant species here so this is a plant beresca olrica so here the artificial selection has been done and you can see there are many artificially created plants which are being selected which are being developed by the human so there are broccoli cauliflower then sprouts cabbage so these are some of the artificial selected plants the next is about the animals that how artificial intelligence is done in the cows so how the selection has produced the modern dairy cows so the cattle this is a cattle which has been domesticated so for example a normal cattle it has been domesticated for about thousands or several of years so humans select these animals for the meat and milk production to survive in the environment there are now several breeds which are available for the milk production and for the meat as well so some have thick coats that can live in the scottish highlands and some can survive in arid areas as well and the main breeds of dairy cattle with high milk yields are the examples which are being given here so these are some of the cattle which are, which give the higher milk yields so these are some of the example now how this process is being done so the original wild cattle which was been first domesticated and thought to have looked like the modern this this is the example of the modern cattle white cattle so that used to look like this modern cattle so by repeatedly selecting the cows with higher milk yields and allowing them to breed with over many generations humans have artificially selected improved breeds with higher milk production and today now breeders still practice the artificial intelligence so artificial intelligence is a very old 
process. Now, that was done. So, the each cow milk is measured and recorded. So, each of the cows milk is measured and recorded. So, the progeny of the bulls is also tested to find that which bull have produced daughters with high milk needs. So, only a few good quality bulls need to be kept as the semen from one bull that can be located and artificially inseminated many cows. There were some allied cows as well which are given hormones to produce many eggs and these eggs are fertilized in vitro and the embryos are implanted into the surrogate mothers and then cloned and divided into many more identical embryos. So in this way a light cow can produce more offspring than they would naturally. So these are some of the processes of the artificial intelligence in the dairy cows. The next is the artificial intelligence in the bread wheat. So artificial selection was done in the bread wheat to improve the varieties of the uh, trichum wheat. So wheat which is a very important and a common crop. It can grow in larger areas of the world and makes up about 33% of the cereal crop. So the breeders, they continue to carry out selection programs to produce improved varieties. So characteristics that they focus on include resistance to fungal infections. There is a high protein content. There is a straw or stem stiffness. The resistance to lodging and the increase yields. So each year, in some of parts of the UK, Cambridge and Clorywood Food Research Association, they formally the Floor Miling and Baking Research Association, they surveys the wheat varieties in the UK and then classifies them according to the suitability for making the breads or biscuits for the use as an animal feed. So this was the artificial selection which was being done and it is still going on. So there are some misconceptions also of the artificial intelligence. So some of the misconceptions include that the artificial intelligence does not create, create new traits. So this is a misconception that it is, does not create a new trait. It also uses recessive traits or enhances the existing traits to unmutual expression. So this is also a misconception that they uses the recessive traits. And the third misconception is that, that many of the artificially created species can still breed with ancestral species. So this is the third misconception. So this was all about the artificial selection. These are some of the references. Thank you.